Jeremy Cook here, and this is my beautiful new 3D printed camera stand. 3D printing info is linked in the description, but if you want to see how I made it and a demo of how it works, then keep watching. This is the first version right here. Works okay, but I wanted this uh, the shaft to be a little bit thicker. Also, I wanted it to be a little bit taller. And I wanted to make a couple little changes on how this uh, the screw goes in here. It's kind of a secondary function. Basically, it's meant to be uh, to be clamped on by this thing that I'm using there. You can also use it with a quarter twenty mount for a you know, all-in-one tripod. In theory, this has been a difficult area for me to shoot uh, around my saw and, and stuff like that. But now it should be a little bit easier because I can just put this there. I've got the new version printing over there. See, I can mount it like this, and I'm filming with my iPhone now because. Obviously my other camera is there. Right now I've only got a few magnets because I only had these. I uh, ordered some more, but you know, they're not here yet. But even with that, with the thing just about over its center of gravity, it's, it's not, not too bad. So we'll see how this shot turns out. This could even work pretty nicely for the laser cutter. Of course it'll work hopefully even better once I have the second version done and I have the extra magnets. This printer is a real workhorse, but I could probably use, probably work on the retract, retract settings a little bit. Nothing that a file won't mostly fix later. All right, I've got some magnets in from Amazon, so now I uh, need to make this into something more secure. So these are 12 millimeter by three millimeter magnets, I believe. Let's push those in. Nice, uh, it's got a nice press fit to it, so you could use glue or something like that, but you don't even have to. So if you're worried about the slipping around too much, one thing you could do is spray Plasti Dip on the bottom. You could mask the uh, sides, but this obviously isn't gonna be the thing on camera, normally. So there it is, it's mounted nicely. Both magnets hold it fairly securely, so let's see what happens. Obviously, if you tip it over, it's gonna it's gonna keep tipping, so. It's a nice, nice solid, solid base for when you wanna have a good clamp on things, and of course you can just, oh, oh. You can just Uh, yeah, so so don't do that. But let's, let's see. Um, you take it off and put it there, and yeah, it's probably gonna fall down. Well, anyway, I guess the po the point the point is, you know, put it mostly vertical, but you can always have it off a little bit, I guess. I think it survived. I got to give a shout out to these Joby uh, quick disconnect things. I think they're Joby three thousand, something like that. Anyway, they, um, they're really nice. You, you, um, you can't see it here, but I've got a little mount here that you just kind of slide it onto that. And uh, so I can quick quick disconnect that whenever. Also these, these arms here, you could take them off and reposition things. And of course this, you could clamp to this or you could clamp to you know two by four or anything else. You know, doing YouTube videos, it's amazing how much time you have to spend actually figuring out how to mount things camera wise. I think it's a common problem and you know, something that's kind of fun though. So. Glad I got to make a video about this. Well, this worked fine. I decided to order a clear printed version from PCBWay. So we'll see how it turned out. Whoa, that is beautiful. I was a little concerned because the bottom ones, it says something about deformation. If it was less than a millimeter, this is 0.6 millimeters and it looks pretty good. Text looks good on the bottom. I'm excited to use this. I think, I believe it's a resin print. So this is a little bit different process. It's not like this is on camera. So it's not like you'll be able to see that this is better, but, but I'll know. And now you'll know. Ring, 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 ring. You can see here, it's not so much of a press fit as in the FDM printed type that I made. The reason for that is probably because the way PCB makes it is pretty much on size. At least that's my suspicion. Yeah, just something something to be aware of. I mean, I think it's definitely a good idea to revise your prints and something you could do in-house and then have it 
made by PCBWA, but maybe you need to consider their tolerances versus your tolerances. Either way, it's gonna be, even if I have to glue it in there, it's gonna be pretty fantastic. When you're putting this together, it could be, it's a good idea to have it uh, staggered as far as polarity goes. So, you know, you might want to have the north, 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 and then you put it in south, 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 south on the other way. So if you put it in staggered like this, then it'll kind of fall into place on the other side pretty much naturally. So just something to think about if you're going to make one of these yourself. What's interesting is this baseball weight, you can actually hook it on here, so you could use it as a weight for other things, I guess. So that's a nice little option too. You might also argue that I should just use one of these. I found the legs to be kind of a little, little sketchy sometimes, and I don't know. These work all right, but I think this is gonna be a little bit better. You could also take the ball head off of it, and maybe, um, maybe that'll end up on the top of one of these. Put that in there. And you could put the camera on there, but I'm uh, filming with my camera right now. Alternatively, you could screw this down. There you go, a nice solid mount, just a ball head, not an extension arm. The clear print is really, really cool. So good news, my camera seems to be largely undamaged. So all that being said, this magnetic mount should, should hold your camera pretty well. This is a fairly heavy camera, it's an A6600 by Sony, but something smaller should be, should be really easy to hold. Anyway, this will hopefully help me film stuff in the future and help me make good, better shots for this and my other channel, JCO Audio, and anything else I come up with. So, thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook, signing off. Now look at that, what a beautiful print.